All right, here we are, just uh, making a new veggie bed. Chosen this area as a flat area, but this area here used to be, or was designed, to be a car park. So basically, that hill was excavated, this was flattened, that was compacted, and lots of rocks was put onto the ground to make that car park. And you can see here how the tracks would come into it. That has been done probably about 15 years ago. Um, I was like, all right, let's get that as a challenge. And it's a little bit worse than I thought. And I just want to show you what I'm doing now as a variation of the, the double dig method. So basically there is about 10 centimeters or so of topsoil that life has created. And you can see here, maybe not even 10. Uh, so there's that, which looks actually quite good. So about 10 centimeters, and then we got straight into this, you know, really compacted subsoil, compressed, dead, nowhere, no water, no nothing. Uh, really, really hard with lots of debris, lots of rocks. So what I'm doing is I'm going a little bit wider. <laughs> so I'm going maybe about 1.2 meters wide. Uh, and I'll show you here. So about 1.2 meters wide and I'm going all that top soil at 10 centimeters and bringing it up. So bring it up to here. I'm also as I remove the rhizomes. So I'm getting the rhizomes uh, out of that grass. That's the last little bit. And then I tap all the, all the soil out on top of that. So we get it this beautiful fluffy uh material super super nice super beautiful ready to plant ready to put carrot seeds if we so wish uh and then what i'm doing is i'm trying to bring life to that subsoil part so i came and break it up uh maybe about 20 centimeters deep so each each spot i'm kind of doing three metox loads uh to try and go as deep as i can everyone every time I go maybe it's 15 or so or 10 or so 50 centimeters and so that I'm, I'm digging little ditches then I'm just bringing that material up and then I'm putting those rhizomes that I've removed the soil up there as well as some fresh grass on the top there uh, so I'm trying to get a bit of life down the bottom given that we are working with short life cycle cultures that has not so deep roots I'm not really too concerned about that degradation of that and also because there is such large particles of soil uh, I don't think there will be an aerobic degradation there because there is so much air now into that soil so I'm hoping as I come back year after year then that bottom part now start to get a bit of life and start to move up and down uh, and of course the nutrients that I'm going to be putting some of the cow manure some of the the potassium, some of the, the phosphorus that I'm going to be using in the calcium, you start to leach down there and hopefully we start to create a nicer atmosphere. So we have about a, a 1.2, maybe even long, even wider um, bed that I'm digging, but the actual bed itself will be about 80 centimeters in the middle. So yeah, that's how I'm finding it. And I reckon I'm going to grow some good veggies uh, over here and for a long time. So after putting, you know, four ditches of life underneath, then I just even out that really orangey soil, really crappy soil. And then I'm just putting a thin layer, maybe, you know, two or three or four centimeters of grass, kind of fresh cut grass, uh, before I now come here on this patch, that final patch. I will remove those rhizomes, put it over there. I'll get whatever top soil I've got it here. And I, I will dig that and put it on top of that grass. And then I come and I clean that rhizomes over there before I repeat this process here. And that's it. So this is a very, very, very time consuming process. I reckon I'm doing it about 45 minutes to an hour per meter of bed. So this bed here is 10 meters long. It's probably a 10 hour job. But that's what I've got it. If I want to grow, you know, good food and Prepare that bed just only once. That's what I've decided to do here. Do it as well as I can with the resources that I've got available. Uh, and do it once, do it well. Slowly, slowly. Here we go, our first bed, veggie bed, 
planted very excited here in the car park system uh, this used to be this was designed to be a car park so a flattened area here very compact lots of rocks one casualty there metal is gone oh well not gonna be the last I'm pretty sure but the bed's looking very very nice a whole range of veggies from beetroots and zucchinis and okras eggplant capsicums corn seeds carrot seeds rocket seeds tomato vegicama uh, little cucamoles as well um, what else have we got here oh, as we move along we we'll also have some cucumber some climbing beans uh, lettuces of course some of our lovely Aussie raspberries have made to Brazil uh, a little bit of cat cat grass catnip grass some shallots some parsley some sage you know a whole culinary experience here in this absolutely gorgeous bed that we just finished planting exciting times